All right. Well, I know you got to get out of here, but let's let's switch to another team. Let's cover it. Let's try to get one more topic in before you, we got to get you out of here. Um, Deshaun Watson, obviously, getting signed by the Browns. Did he? Did that happen? For sure. Okay. Um, you know, we can just put aside all the off-the-field stuff. We're talking strictly football <laughs> yeah, here. Of course. Um, what does this do for the Browns and Deshaun Watson? Does Deshaun Watson, for me, he's moving right back into a, a top-five quarterback. I'm not really worried about anything on the field wise i mean you might get a suspension this year but after that we probably resume you know regularly scheduled programming and and deshaun has never been surrounded probably even by the amount of talent that they have on the browns currently so oh yeah i mean here's the thing and i feel like it's hard you for me he's like at number five exactly right i feel like you'd have a hard time arguing him outside of like the top seven so i mean i've heard this I've heard this argument before. I don't really put too much weight on it, but in the offense itself, they're going to have to change the offense, right? Because the way it was before is primarily, and another thing that Deshaun Watson has never really had is one, he has the best offensive line he's ever had. <laughs> right, 100%. Huge Protection. For him. Protection. But also, he's going to have a very strong running game, which he also hasn't really had in the past before. So, like, how much of and i'm curious how they're going to like use nick chubb is it going to be just still run first is it going to be more balanced like i'm very curious at how they decide to use him but yeah deshaun watson he's still elite again he has amari cooper he's going to be just fine and david and joku i like david and joku i mm. love harrison Bryant. right i'm assuming he's also going to maybe address a wide receiver in the draft you know so hey people's jones like was coming on last year too yeah, I, I, he could. He, they could just go roll with him as a two. I think it'd be even better if he was the three. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm very curious at how I mean, that, you might how they design that. You might see Landry back. You could see. I mean, Odell would. Right. You know, you'd have to have, obviously wait for that. Odell's but, definitely not coming back. Landry though, he could right. come back. Yeah. So you don't think Deshaun could get Odell back? He you think, he's not gonna. He's not gonna go back to Cleveland. Nobody wants right. to go see, back to Cleveland. With the, I see him resigning with the Rams again. L. A. If he's, I mean, it's gonna have to probably be like a cheap, friendly sure, contract. Sure. But I see him going back to the Rams. Nobody, you only go to Cleveland once. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably accurate. So, would you would you rather have Dak or Deshaun? Deshaun. Agreed. Love it. Lamar. Deshaun. Ooh, give me a dang. Okay, this is probably the hardest question <laughs> that you probably <laughs> ask like all show. I'll say, oh my gosh, give me. I'm trying to see if I was in a startup and I had to choose between these two. I'm probably taking Lamar. Ooh, all right. I'd go to Sean. I think I gotta I mean, go to Sean like, too. Again, I'm I'm perfectly fine if you go with Deshaun. I also went to Clemson, so you can't ask me honestly. (laughs) But uh, it's just like again, like you're good either way. Yeah, like go Tigers. Again, I I I, I'm gonna say I reluctantly I'm saying Lamar. I probably wrong. I I probably changed my mind tomorrow, but I'll say right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyler Murray or Deshaun? Oh, we got the running quarterback up against the running quarterbacks. I like terrible. it. Terrible, yeah. I like. I'm going to Sean again. I got to get to Sean. Yeah, I've, I've seen I, enough from Deshaun's entire body of work, and not quite enough from Kyler. Like, I, I think I, it's, the problem with Kyler, right? The last two seasons, he was QB. He's pretty much QB oh, one until he gets hurt. Right. I think that's the problem. So it's like I don't want to discount it. And the problem is like after he comes back from getting hurt, he starts sucking. But before he gets hurt oh, again, he's unstoppable. There's nobody else you want. It's been a wild exactly. tale of two seasons with, with Kyler because each season he starts off so hot. And you're like, oh, my God, I fucked up. I don't have Kyler Murray on my team. Like, what did I do wrong? How did I not take the Kyler Murray? Because he's amazing. I got to do everything I can to get him. And then second half of the season or towards the end of the season, you're like, man, he's really not that good anymore. Yeah. Like, what happened? And that, and, that, and, then, and, then, and that happened two seasons in a row. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I will say this though. I mean, what I've seen in startups so far, even after obviously the Deshaun news, the Kyler Murray and Lamar are still going in front of Deshaun. Like, yeah, I've been yeah, yeah. Like, I've been drafting Deshaun like one eleven, mm-hmm. one twelve. I think obviously, I think a lot of it has to do with people, you know, off the field stuff, suspension, whatever. But again, right. this is dynasty. You're gonna have to he, give up eight 
games, you know, but like you said, dynasty. <laughs> Give it up eight games with Kyler most seasons anyway. <laughs> Almost. That, that's a good one. That's Not quite. One. But again, they're going ahead of them. But again, I I think rank wise, uh, again, I, let me. I haven't even answered the question. I'm going to go Kyler Murray. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go Kyler Murray, but again, I don't feel comfortable with any of my answers for Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> last no, two no. questions. And that's the that's why they're Feel in a tier, again. and that's the you know tiers yeah. are important. You know, take pick your flavor, pick your yeah. pick your favorite favorite I, ice cream flavor. You know, <laughs> I think I I also don't really love Kyler's attitude attitude all the time. I, I hate it. I hate his um, attitude. There was some question mark. Is he going to go back to play baseball? But like if he, I'm if I'm using character concerns, and attitude, yeah. With, <laughs> There's with a little this yep. discussion. I, I think the point is moot. So yeah, I, I, yeah I'm trying to. I'm just. Tr- I'm just remembering how elite he was the beginning of the. Yeah. And like, I'm like, yeah, like when he's on, I'm like, you want to trade your whole team for him when you watch right. him like scurrying around and no one can stop him. Like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. No. Agreed. All right. Let's move to his his new target. Amari um, Cooper's out of Dallas into. Cleveland here. He's another one of these guys who's in the Tua, the Josh Jacobs, the Derek Carr. Like people are at, they don't, they're not interested. Like nobody wants Amari Cooper up. They're tired of Amari Cooper. Like, so he's still 27. He now has the Sean. There's not a whole lot of uh, target competition, let's call it. And he was wide receiver 15 last year, averaged almost 15 points a game, ADPs at 50. Right. Now you bring up a, a, what I thought was a, a great point before is is what what exactly is this offense now going to look like? Does it stay kind of – does Stefanski just be stubborn and say, hey, this is what we do, this is how we're doing it? Or do they kind of, you know, hey, we played a lot of money for this guy, which I think is probably the latter. Like we're going to at, le- at the very least be more balanced, if not, you know, a shade towards let's lean on Deshaun a little bit. Um, so how, how did, what does that do for Amari Cooper for you? I mean, he's, he should be a target haul. Like I'm thinking he's the new DeAndre Hopkins for Deshaun. I get like, right. I don't care who you draft in this year's like draft class. They're not going to be better than Amari Cooper. Right. Like at least not now. Right. So right. regardless, he's going to be the wide receiver one. I would say that, you know, the suckier the wide receiver, the better it is for Amari Cooper. So, mm-hmm. but I would say, regardless, he's going to be a target hog. And again, he's going to be a wide receiver one. Like, I just don't see a scenario. If if he's not a wide receiver one, he's going to be wide receiver 13. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. That, that, that's how confident I am in him. No, I feel you. We we made some money with, with Amari. Just, he was he's been the forgotten man for a couple of years now. So like it steadily keeps decreasing the price and we just keep scooping him up to be a, you know, a nice wide receiver two on your team that can put up wide receiver one numbers. He can win you weeks and, and he can, can zero you, but it, right. It, 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 that's the problem is the inconsistency. I think that's why people have such fatigue with him, right? It's either it's sure. injury or it's like he disappears. Like there's sometimes he just disappeared and then all of a sudden he explodes. And it's like, again, he, you might, if you're in best ball, you were, you know, and right. you wouldn't have to worry about these things. But like, that's the problem. And I think for almost any receiver, it's about consistency, right? And I think that's why people have such, you know, fatigue when it comes to Amari. Right. Um, so Amari Cooper or Cortland Sutton? Amari. Amari. And then I, I like that you said any of these wide receivers coming in. So would you trade? Uh, you know, a one four for Amari Cooper right now. Right. Obviously, in a one QB league, right, one four you could you could almost you could either have one of those top three running backs or your favorite wide receiver or one probably one of your top three wide receivers. I feel like one four is probably a good parameter. Yeah, Amari so, Cooper or one four. So I would rather have one four, and the reason why though it's just like in terms it just the perceived value. That mm-hmm. one four carries a lot, right? Mm-hmm. These rookie receivers carry so much value. And like, even though I think Amari's going to outscore this guy this year and probably next year, this guy could eventually become a wide receiver one. He could, again, if it's like Garrett Wilson, Drake London, like yeah. these guys have the, we don't know yet, right? We don't know where they're good, how, where they're going to land, how they're going to be. But right now, these one, the, one 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 oh one to one five, those are precious picks. Yeah. So I'm I'd rather those picks than Amari right now at this stage of his career. They have the potential to turn into a top fifteen startup player. Right. You know, exactly. whereas Amari Cooper's 
never going to get there. But if you're exactly. if you're a franchise who's ready to win right now, as far as dynasty goes, it may be advantageous to try to make that move and get more stuff. But I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm absolutely sticking with yeah. uh, the the pick. Like you said, I think I think you kind of have to. Um, Devonte Smith or Amari Cooper. If I'm in a draft, I'm probably going Smith. I mean, it's, okay. I think the age the age has a lot to do with it. Also, sure. I mean, and and, and Devonte Smith actually had a really good season, mm-hmm. despite Jalen Hurts was not a good passer. No, <laughs> and they. And for some reason, he didn't get targeted a lot. Like they used the front guy, man. But still, Devonta Smith looked good when he got the opportunities. So I'm gonna go Devonta Smith. Right. No, we we talk about that some on here. If if the rookie receivers the last couple of years haven't been so dominant, the top ones like D- <laughs> Smith had a nice season he as did. far as the rookie Over goes. Thousand yards. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but definitely no love for Smith. Or okay, last one: Amari Cooper or St. Brown. Don't know where you weigh in on the St. Brown. Seems like he's pretty. Uh, a lot of people are really in or really out. So it felt like a good ender. I'm more on the inside. I'm on St. Brown. I what he did, man. Again, people want to discount it, but just watch. All you gotta do is look at you, watch him, and he just dominated defenses. But. <sighs> I think Amari carries more value, right? Actually, it depends. It kind of like what you said, right? It depends on who you're training. Because if you – I don't know who I'm talking to. Right. If I have Amari – because, again, if I'm talking to a St. Brown hater, they're going to say Amari. If it's a St. Brown truther, they're going to say St. Brown. Me, if it's I'm a, a if truther. It's, if it's a Amari hater, they're going to say anybody else. Yeah. Oh man, I thought this was gonna be an easier question when you first asked it. <laughs> um, I would say, I think Saint. I guess I'm gonna go to Saint Brown side because I feel like in a startup. Actually, no. I changed my mind. I'm going to Mars. He just got. He just got Deshaun. You know, it's just yeah, that's I'm that's the thing. Yeah. He just think, got Deshaun, and I think that's what it is. I'm going. He's I'm going healthy tomorrow. right now. He's not hurt. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with again. I I love St. Brown again. He's and I think I'll try to factor in age, but I think the problem is just like I don't know what the Lions are gonna do in the draft. And again, if they if the Lions get like one of these top receivers, oh my god, I'm gonna be sad. But if they get like a you know one of the lesser wide receivers, I'll have a little bit more confidence. But yeah, if they get one of the elite guys, then I'm yeah. obviously gonna not be as excited for St. Brown. So. I think I think they're going to they got other needs and other places to go if they're going to take a receiver. I think it's going to be a little later. Not that 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 player can't be good um that they take, but I mean they got Shark. I think they have yeah, but I think they could get some I don't know how many second round picks they got, but I think they have a couple of picks in the second. Mm-hmm. They could get a top receiver then. Like yeah. if they if they get like a third round or later, I'll be feel better, but if they get like first or second they're not gonna get first but second round pick i'm gonna be a little more nervous yeah i think that's fair because there's already you know you already there's got also argument Swift to and, be made that maybe that could help open up things a little bit for him and yeah, he is pretty good in the red zone and after the catch and he yeah. seems to have a rapport with golf although i don't think i don't know if golf's gonna be the quarterback there this year or not they could take they could take malik willis number two nah, overall. i don't, I don't see that happening no. i think they, i think they're gonna stick with golf again you might as well ride this out with golf in 2023 if you get your quarterback right if that's the case i agree 100 percent. i think they'll i think they're good d d lineman yeah. um and and try to get after the quarterback a little bit and then just kind of keep pushing forward with what they have because the culture is what you really needed to shift there and that seems like you know do we have a do we have a Joe Judge situation where you got everybody to play hard for a year and then the next year was a fucking dumpster fire? Or do we have <laughs> kind of the same thing going on Dan here? But Campbell. I do oh, no, like Dan, Dan Campbell. Campbell. I like yeah. him too. He was the Dolphins coach for yeah. a little bit. Tight ends coach, yeah. Yeah. And you're, yeah, I guess he did get coach. promoted to the head interim, coach, yeah. For interim and then they didn't keep him. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, I, I do like Campbell. When we talked about St. Brown, I said, you know, kind of, you know, you're not – at, at the top 50 kind of where he's around 50 ADP ish. Like 
if he if you were drafting him for what he did on those last six games or whatever, he when he top second second right, round when all those other guys were missing, like you'd be drafting him as as a top know, twenty four top twenty four player. player. But you're not. You're getting a little bit of a discount built in. And I really like what I saw from him. And like Dan Campbell took over play calling, and a lot of things changed. And all of a sudden, St. Brown was getting the ball a lot. And they said he's just like a complete yeah. culture guy, like. He came in there getting popping shit, getting in fights right away. Just kind of like, hey, this is we're setting the tone here. There's no more. You know, we're not taking plays off. There's, you know, um, and I've heard a lot of interviews where the, like, that little lion, a lot of Lions guys say is the culture was always just, you know, you'd go from one team to another and be like, really, this is what y'all do here? Like, <laughs> so um, I, I think he's so ingrained in what's going on. I think he'll be just fine with that being said. I feel like I got to I got to go ride with Amari for like probably two more seasons although in my tears i got i got saint brown in, in a tier right above amari cooper so like you said depending on how i woke up or depending on how the wind blows like those things just shift a little bit around it's, it's and it's tough think, and, and i think i know like okay like and i think also the thing is like i know no matter the scenario amari is going to produce if he's healthy on the field yes saint brown fair I, I believe in the talent, but there's no, if they draft somebody, I don't, again, I don't know if it was just a product of circumstance, but I think he's really talented. So I'm assuming he's going to get the opportunities, but I, do, I just don't know. Right. I, MR is more of a sure thing. I, I think that's a fair, a fair conclusion to draw to. You got anything else? Well, we're up against it. I know you got to go soon, but I want to get no one more thing in here because sure, I know you like David and Joku and we were real high on yeah. chief, chief and Joku coming out of the, of the, of college and it, you know, the Browns just kept hanging on to him and paying him a little bit. And then they just gave him a big contract. Cooper's out of there. Is it finally David and Joku's time? I don't see how it can't be right. And like, I like Harrison Bryan too, right? Yeah. I like Harrison Bryan. Take them both. Like, exactly. Like I just feel like literally, because again, Austin Hooper's out of there and I just don't understand like why they just never use him. He's an athletic freak. And there's a play last year where he just took it to the house. Yeah. Like, he could again. He's just and right now again. It's the best weapons are David and Joku and Amari Cooper. <laughs> I'm assuming they're going to in terms of receiving. Right. But so I I'm going to say yes. Like I've been trying to draft and Joku as many startups as I can. I I've been targeting him. Right? I'm like it's your year. Like you got this, bro. Like yeah. <laughs> I'm I, maybe I'm a fool, but I'm He's still so him. young too. Compared like when it comes to tight ends and and just because he came out, I think he was 20 years old when he came out. Super, super young, young guy yeah. and comes from an amazing family. Super smart dude. Like I think he just couldn't. He had problem catching the ball there for a little bit, and yeah, he can get that ironed out. out yeah. And they pay him, and you know he's right now he's at ADP one forty nine as the tight end seventeen, uh, drafted after yeah, guys like Cole Komet, day. Cole Komet, Irv Smith, Zach Ertz. You taking yeah, fan overall, or uh, you taking uh, Joku I'm over all those guys? Well, in Dynasty, I'm taking him over Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz is he did a good season. I'm taking him over Zach Ertz, Irv Smith. I'm definitely taking him over Irv Smith. Cole Komet's a tricky. I feel like Cole Komet, there's a lot of hype around Cole Komet. Yeah. He could be really good, but again, we just don't know. I think he's going to be good, though. So I, I'll take Cole Komet probably over him, but those yeah. other guys, I like David Joe. All right. All right. Well, love it, man. It's uh, 925. We promised to have you home early. So, uh, can't thank you enough for joining us, man. Uh, make sure you guys check him out on Twitter at T King Mode. Uh, Troy King, man, he's all over YouTube. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, right? Yes. And then check him out, yes. Fantasy Football, or Yahoo Fantasy during the in-season. Uh, good good articles and, and, and just all over the place, man. Good Twitter follow. Appreciate you, man, uh, for, for coming on the show. No, nah, man, this has been so fun, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for inviting me. Y'all have yourselves a good night. Deuces, y'all. All, all right, right, man. Buddy. Peace. Well, we appreciate Oh, geez. Golly. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Let me get that five-star review on uh, iTunes for the po Spotify's. And uh, definitely let me get a subby. Peace.